Έγραφος και στη συγγραφή Άτο που τέμνει και λουμίωσο Γελτέμνει σε άρεσκες Γελμάρια αδεσπικά Γελόμνων και λιγόριο Που κουρία η κασάνο μου λου Που κουρία η κασάνο μου λου Λου βόμ στα τετσέρε Din mormânt s-a ridicat Iar azi îmi fii pe ce mor Bucuria e în casa Domnului Bucuria e în casa Domnului Nu vom sta de cere Te vom lăbura Bucuria e în casa Domnului Cu adevărat El e între noi Nu vom sta de cere Te vom lăbura Suspe 
casa esté apotrivada por pesco poder que este George luta ni mi nueva puta se esté apotrivada a mi acheta el sur Locurile 
bucurile cerești Tu ești, Tu ești viteazul meu Cât de ridici Tu caduria și Tu ești de deuviști Eu sunt și ne spui că sunt Îmi toată încrederea și zațul Locurile cerești ne iubim sunt Prin Cel care a piruit Tu ești viteazul meu Cât de ridici tu ca lumea și Tu ești de reuvinț Eu sunt și ne spun
Doamne Iisuse, speak to us from your word. We love your word. We come like Mary did to your feet. To listen and to be taught. That same woman sat at your feet in worship. As she broke her alabaster box. We also have broken our alabaster box. We have come with worship. From the heart. But now we stay at your feet, Jesus. To be taught by you. Let every person hear your word. Let it be specific things that they need to hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Liviu. First Peter is a really interesting book. There's been some discuss, discussion if it was really written by Peter or not. Fost câteva discuții cu privire la cine a scris, care e autorul acestei cărți. Some asked if Peter was really the author. Unii au pus întrebarea dacă Petru a fost cu adevărat autorul. Because the Greek in 1 Peter, pentru că grecii în 1 Petru, the Greek language, greacă, limba greacă din 1 Petru, is is too eloquent and well spoken. Este prea elocventă, prea bine vorbită. To just be spoken by a să fie vorbită de către un pescar doar. But we know that at one point Peter and John were standing before the Sanhedrin. Dar noi știm că la un moment dat Petru împreună cu Ioan au stat în fața sinedriului. And uh, the religious leaders said, how can these uneducated men și liderii religioși au spus cum pot acești oameni needucați speak like this? Să vorbească așa de bine. And they took note that these men had been with Jesus. When you spend time with Jesus, He even changes the way that you speak. And since 1 Peter starts by saying that it's from Peter, then I believe that it was really written At the end of the book, he said that Sylvanus helped him. Probably he was like his scribe who wrote down what Peter was dictating. But Peter was writing to churches that were throughout the region of Asia Minor. Dar Petru a scris bisericilor ce erau prin regiunea Asia Mică. And they were involved in much persecution and suffering during that time. Și bisericile atunci experimentau foarte multă persecuție. So uh, Peter was writing to them lor, and said, remember how Jesus suffered and died. How he rose again and how he is today still alive in eternal glory. Just in the same way, in mod, when you suffer, când tu suferi, on the other side of the suffering, de a there is greater glory este waiting o for you. Mai mare care te this is the theme of 1 Peter. Este tema la 1 Petru. Let's say this together. Să zicem greater glory. O mai mare. That is what is waiting for us on the other side. He brings us from glory to glory. He wants to bring an increase of glory in his church today. But we'll start by reading from 1 Peter 1 starting in verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ according to his great mercy he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Binecuvântat să fie Dumnezeul și Tatăl Domnului nostru Isus Hristos, care după îndurarea sa cea mare ne-a născut din nou prin învierea lui Isus Hristos dintre cei morți la o nădejde vie. To an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Și la o moștenire nestricăcioasă și nepătată și care nu se poate veșteji, păstrată în ceruri pentru voi. Who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Voi sunteți păziți 
este puterea lui Dumnezeu prin credință pentru mântuirea gata să fie descoperită în timpul de la urmă. Peter starts here by saying, Petru începe prin a spune, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. să fie Dumnezeul și Tatăl Domnului nostru Isus Hristos. According to his great mercy, care după îndurarea sa cea mare, he has caused us to be born again. Ne-a născut din nou. Only two people who wrote in the Bible used this expression to be born again. Doar doi oameni care au scris în Biblia au folosit această expresie a fi născut din nou. And it's about Peter and John. Și anume Petru și Ioan. Probably, Probabil, they were so marked by the conversation that Jesus had with Nicodemus. fost așa de marcați de conversația pe care Domnul Isus a avut o cu Nicodim. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. Nicodimul fariseu. Who came to Jesus at night time? Care a venit la Domnul Isus noaptea. Because he really had come to believe in him. Pentru că el a ajuns să creadă în el. But many of the religious leaders who believed in Jesus believed in hidden. Dar mulți dintre liderii religioși care au crezut în Domnul Isus au avut credința lor în ascuns. But eventually he would come to have faith that was open. Însă cele din urmă el a ajuns ca să arate public credința lui. That he had a real faith. Că el a avut o credință reală. But he comes to Jesus and he says. Dar vine la Domnul Isus și spune. A teacher. Învățătorule. Uh, nobody could do the things that you do if God wasn't with him. Nimeni nu poate să facă lucrurile pe care le faci tu decât dacă Dumnezeu e cu el. And it's almost like Jesus ignores what he says. Truly, truly, I say to you adevărat, adevărat ție, that uh, you must be born again să fii născut din nou if you want to see the kingdom of dacă God. Vrei să vezi lui Dumnezeu. And Nicodemus like, Și Nicodim, how can I go a second time into my mother's a zis, womb cum pot eu, om bătrân, să merg în a, a doua oară în pântrecele mamei mele and to be born a second time. să mă nasc a doua oară. And Jesus is like, și Domnul Iisus You're the teacher of Israel. And you don't understand these things. It's a, a talking about a spiritual birth. Not a natural birth. And we usually say it's being born again. But actually a better translation of what it says in the Greek is to be born from above. We are, are born again in Noi that ne naștem din nou He makes all things new in our lives. Faptul că el face toate lucrurile noi în viața noastră. The old thing goes away. Cele vechi s-au dus. And he makes everything new. Și el face totul nou. But we are also born from above. Dar de asemenea suntem născuți de sus. Meaning it's a spiritual birth. Asta înseamnă că e o naștere duhovnicească. Heaven is birthed in us. Cerul se naște noi. That we receive eternal life. primim viață veșnică. And we can live a new life in God. Și putem să trăim o viață nouă în Dumnezeu. Throughout Scripture, prin scriptură, there's a connection between being born again. Este o legătură între a fi născut din nou and resurrection. Și înviere. You can see that in Psalm chapter 2. Poți să vezi în Psalmul 2. God is speaking. I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage. And the ends of the earth as your possession. Jesus always has existed. Domnul Isus a existat din totdeauna. He was the word who was from the beginning. El a fost cuvântul ce era de la început. As long as the Father existed, At, cât tatăl a existat, the Son has always existed. A existat la fel de mult. There was never a moment when Jesus was born at the beginning. Nu a fost niciun moment în care Isus să fie născut la început. Because he always has Pentru been. Că el a fost din totdeauna. He is before time. El este de dinainte de timp. But the father still comes and says to Dar him. Tatăl încă totuși vine și spune lui. Today I have begotten you. Astăzi te-am născut pe tine. And what the father was saying. Și ce tatăl spunea. Was in your resurrection. Este în învierea ta. You are being born. Tu ești. 
you are receiving that birth from tu above. Acea de sus. That, that birth acea from above. De sus. When Jesus stepped out of the grave, Isus a ieșit din mormânt, it's like when a baby would come out of his mother's womb. The Lord Jesus was completely changed. Isus a fost schimbat pe deplin. He even received a glorified El a body. Chiar și un trup glorificat. He was completely different. El a fost complet altfel. And after the father says, și după ce tatăl spune, Today I have begotten you, născut, the next thing he says is, următorul lucru spune, Ask of me, cerem, and I will give you the nations și voi da popoarele, as your inheritance. De Jesus then received his inheritance și, from the father și pe urmă, Iisus a primit moștenirea de la tatăl, after his resurrection după învierea lui. in the same way for us în as același believers. Pentru noi, ca și creștini, when we put our faith in Jesus noi ne punem credința în Domnul Iisus, as our Lord and Savior și Mântuitor, we are born again. Noi ne naștem din nou. We are born from above de sus, we experience resurrection life viața the same resurrection life viață de înviere, that Jesus himself experienced a trăit and just as he entered into his inheritance în lui, through that birth prin acea naștere, through that resurrection prin acea înviere, we also enter into our inheritance în It, through are being born again. Prin John wrote in his epistle, Ioan his first epistle, prima lui epistolă, many things about characteristics of people who have been born again. Multe care sunt din nou. And I could probably have a whole preaching just from Și probabil că aș putea să mă predic întreagă doar de acolo. And maybe I will. Și poate o să o fac. But not today. Dar nu astăzi. It says in 1 John 2. Spune în 1 Ioan 2. Verse 29. În versetul 29. Everyone who practices righteousness has been born of him. În 1, 1 Ioan capitolul 2 versetul 29. Dacă știți că el e, să știți că oricine practică neprihănirea este născut din el. So if you are a practicer of righteousness, dacă tu practici neprihănirea, that means that you have been born of him. Asta înseamnă că tu ești născut din el. You have been born again. Ești născut din nou. In 1 John 3, 9, În 1 Ioan 3 cu 9. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning. Oricine este născut din Dumnezeu nu practică păcatul. Somebody who has been born again no longer continues sinning. Sinning is unnatural for a believer. It goes against their identity. It goes against who they are. In 1 John 4, 7, whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. So if you've been born Born again, deci dacă tu ești născut din nou, you know God. tu cunoști pe Dumnezeu. You walk with God. Tu umbli cu Dumnezeu. You have a relationship with him. Ai o relație cu El. And you demonstrate his love. Și dem- îi demonstrezi dragostea Lui. You have a lifestyle of God's Ai un stil love. de viață prin dragostea Lui Dumnezeu. In 1 John 5, 4, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. You are a conqueror. You can defeat anything that comes against you. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even the faith este that's in you. Noastră. That is what gives you victory. In verse 18. The evil one does not touch him because Jesus protects him. Căci cel care a fost născut din Dumnezeu îl păzește și cel rău nu se atinge de el. If you have been born of God, dacă tu ai fost născut din Dumnezeu, the devil cannot touch you. nu poate să te atingă Hallelujah. pe tine. Amin. But God protects you. Dar Dumnezeu te protejează pe tine. He is your covering. El este acoperirea ta. Jesus said a zis that the evil one cannot take anyone from my hands. You are in the hands of Jesus. You are kept by him. And actually the name of my message today is a kept inheritance. In 
First uh, Peter in 1, 1, Petru 1, where we read from, unde unde am citit, it says that you have been born again to a living hope. Spune că ați fost născut din nou pentru o moștenire vie. For a living hope. O pentru o speranță, o nădejde vie. You are born again to something. Ați fost născut din nou pentru ceva. Into something. Înspre ceva. <laughs> And it is through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And you are also born again, it says, to an inheritance that is imperishable. That means it is immortal. Anything that's of the world can decay and die in time. Can decay and die in time. But what is of heaven Dar ce este din cer is eternal. E It's kept forever. E Jesus taught in Matthew 6, in verse 19 and 20, Do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moss and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Nu vă strângeți comor pe pământ unde molia și rugina le strică și unde hoții le sapă și le fură. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Și strângeți-vă comori în cer unde nici molia nici rugina nu le strică și unde hoții nu le sapă, nici nu le fură. Is there anyone here today e cineva aici azi who, uh, maybe you have a, a wool sweater that you really like că poate ai avut un pulover de, l- de lână ce ți-a plăcut and one day you went to your closet and you went to put it on you saw in the mirror that it had holes in it that there was some moss that started eating it anyone has experienced that before it's really annoying especially when it's a sweater you really like now some of you know that Alex Kirali repairs cars he uh, paints cars le vopsește foarte fine and he's very gifted in what he are does dar în ce face. Uh, he's so gifted e așa de bun that he has too much work to do mult de lucru. Uh, that he doesn't have enough time to do it all destul de vreme să facă tot. so we have a, a little Volkswagen Polo așa că noi avem o mașină mică un Volkswagen Polo that we've had for many years care l-a de mulți ani it's been a real blessing și to us și a fost o binecuvântare mare pentru noi it has a lot of rust și are rugina așa jos So we are waiting to bring our car to Alex. Uh, waiting patiently. <laughs> uh, so that he can repair it for us. Because if you leave rust unfixed, it'll eat up your car and it'll just keep getting worse as time goes on. Has anyone ever had something stolen from you? It leaves such a bitter taste. Așa un gust rău. You feel almost like someone's taken advantage of you. Of you. Tine. Like you feel dirty by, by that. I won't, uh, you know, I've been a missionary a for a while. De ani. So I won't share with you stories about să things that have been stolen voi from me. Care fost uh, because uh, <laughs> my message would be way Pentru too long. Mesajul meu ar fi prea lung azi. <laughs> In Luke chapter 12, in verse 32 and 33, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. We've been talking on Wednesdays about how we have received an unshakable kingdom. Whatever is happening in the economy of the world is separate from what's happening in the economy of the kingdom of God. When everything else is being shaken around us, the kingdom of God stands. The kingdom of God is full of power and authority. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. The kingdom of God stands. We have received a kingdom. It gives the Father great pleasure to give you the kingdom. 
Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourself with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. Vindeți tot ce aveți și dați milostenie. Faceți-vă roz de pungi care nu se învechesc. O coroană nesecată în ceruri, unde nu se apropie hosul și unde nu roade molia. It says here Spune aici that you can have money bags. Că poți să ai pungi. You can have purses. Uh, poșete. All of you women said amen. Toate femeile au zis amen. They will never run out. Care nu se învechesc. They won't get holes in them. Care nu au găuri în ele. Can you imagine a, a purse that has such good leather o poșete făcută dintr-o piele așa de bună that it will never get a hole in niciodată nu face găuri. Well, when the people of Israel were wandering around the wilderness Când poporul mergea prin pustie Their sandals kept getting renewed. lor au fost tot înnoite. For 40 years. They never had to change their sandals. Nu trebuie să schimbe o dată păpuci. Now you parents who maybe have to change your children's shoes once every two months. You say you say where can I find some of those shoes? The best bank that you could ever put your money in is a heavenly bank. People today when they go to put their money in the bank. They want to make sure it's a good bank. It's a stable bank. That it's a place that they can rely on. And with everything going on in the world today. Many people don't trust banks. But we have the best bank. It's a heavenly bank. And when we give to the poor. When we give alms we are actually storing up treasures in heaven where nothing will be able to take from us what, has, what has been saved in heaven we're not just saving up for when we die and go to heaven remember when Jesus said that when you give up anything for the kingdom you have uh, received a hundred times more in this lifetime and in the ante age to come you will receive eternal life there are rewards for now and there are rewards for then when you are storing up treasures in heaven You will receive treasure now. Tu vei primi comori acum. And you will receive also treasure then. Și vei primi comori și atunci. There's no bank on nu the face of the earth. Pe fața pământului. That has such a good rate on investment. Așa o rată bună de investiție. <laughs> to give you back a hundred times more. De 100 de ori mai mult. And even more than that. Și încă mai mult de atât. But that's Our God. Dar acesta e Dumnezeul nostru. That is his provision. Aceasta e provizia lui. One of my favorite verses. Unul dintre versetele mele preferate. My God. Dumnezeul meu. Will supply all of your needs. Se va îngriji de toate nevoile voastre. According to his riches and glory. După bogățiile sale în slavă. That are in Christ Jesus. Care sunt în Hristos Isus. I've been listening to a song this week. Am ascultat un cântec săptămâna aceasta. Where the chorus just says that again. Unde refrenul spune asta din nou și din nou. And I had the song on repeat. Și am pus cântecul pe repetare. So we'll probably be singing it in our church pretty soon. My God will supply all of your needs according to His riches and glory that are in Christ Jesus. It says that the treasure in heaven will not fail. Banks will fail. But the treasure in heaven will never fail. It is inexhaustible. Nu poți să o sfârșești. In 1 Timothy 6, în 1 Timotei 6, verse 17. În versetul 17. As for the rich in the present age, age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. Poruncește celor bogați în viacul de acum să nu se îngânfe și să nu-și pună încrederea în siguranța bogăților, ci în Dumnezeu, care ne dă toate din belșug ca să ne bucurăm de ele. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to serve. Să facă bine, să fie
fie bogați în fapte bune, să fie darnici, gata să simtă împreună cu alții. Thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future so that they may take hold of that which is truly life. Strângându-și pentru viitor, drept cum are o bună temelie, pentru ca să apuce ceea ce este cu adevărat viață. I recently went with a taxi. Recent m-am dus cu un taximetrist. I started talking with the taxi driver. Și am început să vorbesc cu el. And he was saying about how he prefers to work at night. El spunea că preferă să lucreze noaptea. Because he just brings people from clubs to their house. Duce oamenii de la club acasă. And he doesn't have to sit in traffic. Și nu trebuie să stea toată ziua în trafic. So we started talking about clubs. Așa că am început să vorbim despre cluburi. I told him I remember when obsession was the biggest club. Obsession era cel mai mare club. Over 3,000 people could fit in there. It was the biggest club in all of this area. I said, I wonder whatever happened to obsession. He said, oh, it was really sad. He said, oh, it's very sad. The man who owned it, he he was very wealthy. He would go on vacations, just like taking helicopters. Then he started to gamble. Dar pe urmă a început să joace la jocuri de noroc. He lost all of his money. He ended up going bankrupt. And today he's selling Kyrtosh Kolach. The uncertainty of wealth. Don't trust in money. It's here one day. Tomorrow it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's not something that's reliable. But if we are in our good works, well, rich, in generosity, ready to serve, what we are doing through that is we are storing up treasure as a good foundation, a foundation that will not be moved for the future. I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. And those who store up treasures for themselves in heaven have a good foundation for the future. Proverbs 19.17 Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord and he will repay him for his deeds. If you ever loan somebody money, dacă tu dai cuiva bancul împrumut, you want to make sure it's a reliable person. Tu vrei să te asigur că e un om de încredere. Otherwise, altfel, you can just say bye bye money. Poți să spui adio banilor. Praise the Lord. Slavă Domnului. Uh, and she, the best person you could ever cel mai bun loan to, pe care tu ai putea să l împrumuți, is God Himself. E Dumnezeu însuși. If you give to the poor, you are loaning to the Lord. You're like saying, oh God, you can give it back to me whenever you want to. It's fine. And you know when he gives it back, he gives you back a lot more. It's the only time that it says that you are loaning to the Lord. It's when you give to the poor. We would remember the poor. There is an inheritance that it says is undefiled. That means it's completely pure. It has no dirtiness to it. Probably remember that in the law of Moses, it's, it, it said that the unclean were never allowed to enter into the tabernacle. People had done different ceremonial things that had made them like dirty. So then they could not have access to God's presence. But praise the Lord, we have all been washed by the blood of Jesus. We are all pure, clean, 
without Nu-i guilt, fără vină, without shame, fără rușine, we can hold our heads up high. Putem să ne ținem capul sus. The blood of Jesus has washed us and made us whiter than snow. Ne-a făcut mai alb ca zăpada. All of our sins Toate have been washed away a fost by the blood of Jesus. It says in Revelation 21:27. But nothing unclean will ever enter into the heavenly city, nor anyone who does what is detestable or false, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Nimic întinat nu va intra în cetatea cerească, nimeni care trăiește în urăciune și în minciună, ci numai cei scriși în cartea vieții mielului. There is a inheritance that is undefiled. It has been kept clean and pure in heaven for you. Because everything in heaven has to be pure. Everything has to be clean. We sometimes talk about filthy lucre. How money is unclean. How money is unclean. But actually, Dar de fapt, it talks about an inheritance that is pure. Aici care e pură. Completely pure. Complet pură. The inheritance is also unfading. Moștenirea de asemenea uh, nu se, nu se It stays the same. Rămâne la fel. It says later on also in the same Spune, chapter. Mai târziu de asemenea în același capitol. 1 Peter 1. În 1 Petru 1. From verse 23. De la versetul 23. Since you have been born again not of perishable seed but of imperishable through the living and abiding word of God. Fiindcă ați fost născuți din nou, nu dintr-o sămânță care poate putrezi, ci dintr-una care nu poate putrezi, prin cuvântul lui Dumnezeu care este viu și care rămâne. Again he uses that same phrase about being born again. Și nu folosește aceeași frază a fi născut din nou. But you have been born not of something that's perishable. Fost născut nu din ceva care poate putrezi. But something that's imperishable. Din ceva care nu poate putrezi. The living and abiding word of God. Din cuvântul lui Dumnezeu care e viu și care rămâne. Remember when God gave his people manna to eat. Ți când Dumnezeu a dat poporului său mană să mănânce? They only would gather enough for that day. If they kept it to the next day, it would get rotten. It was eaten up by worms. Only on the day before the Sabbath, they were able to gather enough for two days. And then it would stay fresh for that day and the next day. But at the commandment of the Lord, Moses took some of the manna and he put it into the Ark of the Covenant. And that manna did not get rotten. That is the word that we have received. It is a heavenly word that gives us life. This is the gospel that has been preached to us. It's the living and abiding word of God. Și care lucrează, it is always fresh. Care rămâne și întotdeauna e proaspăt. Then Peter quotes from Isaiah. Și pe urmă Petru citează din Isaia. Verse 24. În versetul 24. All flesh is like grass and all is glory like flowers of grass. The grass withers and the flowers fade. Căci orice făptură este ca iarba și toată slava e ca floarea ierbii. Iar iarba s-a uscat și floarea a căzut. Have you ever had flowers that you forgot to put water in. Ai avut vreodată flori pe care ai uitat să le uzi? Or maybe a plant in your house. Sau o plantă în casă. That felt very neglected. Care s-a simțit foarte neglijată. In time it dries up. În timp se uscă. And it gets very brown. Și devine maro. That is the natural way of things of the earth. Acela e modul firesc al lucrurilor pământești. But the word of the Lord. Dar cuvântul Domnului abides forever. Rămâne în viață. And this word. Și acest cuvânt is the good news that was preached to you. Este vestea bună care va fost predicată. This word that will not fade. Acest cuvânt care nu o să se veștejească. In 1 Peter 5, in verse 4, and when the chief shepherd appears, 
you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Și când se va arăta păstorul cel mare, veți scăpăta cu nuna care nu se poate veșteji a slavei. You will receive a crown, a glory, o glorie that will never fade care nu away se poate veșteji as your reward ca și răsplata voastră for all that you have done pentru tot ce ați for the Lord. Pentru Domnul, you will receive an eternal reward. O răsplată veșnică. Now as I'm talking about inheritance, și așa cum vorbesc despre moștenire, I hope that you're not just hearing me speak Sper about money. Că nu mă auziți că vorbesc doar despre bani. It's talking about a spiritual inheritance. Vorbește despre moștenire spirituală. Which yes, it can affect our finances. Care poate să ne afecteze finanțele. But your inheritance might be healing. Dar moștenirea ta s-ar putea să fie vindecarea. Might be deliverance. Să fie liberarea. Salvation for people in your house. Să fie mântuirea pentru oameni din casa ta. Your inheritance might be peace. Moștenirea ta s-ar putea să fie pacea. Joy. Bucuria. Uh, change uh, being set free from depression whatever you have need of my God will supply Dumnezeu all of your needs se va îngriji de toate nevoile voastre according to his riches după bogățile lui that are in Christ Jesus in his glory în gloria lui there is an inheritance este o for you pentru voi kept in heaven for you păstrat în ceruri pentru voi but it's not kept for after you dar nu-i păstrat acolo pentru doar după ce o să mori. Someone already died. Cineva deja a murit. Jesus died. Isus a murit. So that you could receive an inheritance now. Pentru ca tu să poți să primești o moștenire acum. You are a co-heir together with Christ. Tu ești moștenitor împreună cu Hristos. Usually in the Jewish culture, the oldest brother would receive a double portion of the inheritance. Primea o porție dublă a moștenirii. But our older brother Jesus mare, Isus, is such a good brother el frate așa de bun, that he said, I want to share my inheritance equally. Mea cu toți egal. So you get everything Așa that Jesus got. Tu primești tot ceea ce Domnul Isus a primit. What a mystery this ce is. Taină e asta. There is nothing that the Father gave Jesus that he doesn't give to you also. Nu ține de parte, să nu-ți dea și ție. You are a co-heir with Christ. Tu ești moștenitor împreună cu Hristos. Your inheritance ta is a sure inheritance. Este o moștenire sigură. It is kept in heaven for you. Păstrată în ceruri pentru tine. That means it's reserved. Asta înseamnă e rezervată. Or it's guarded. Sau e păzită. Like a soldier would stand guard for something. Cum de pază pentru ceva. I know someone. Știu pe cineva. A lady o femeie who received from her husband care a primit de la soțul ei and from her parents și de la părinții ei over a million US dollars peste un milion de dolari americani as an inheritance ca și moștenire within about five years în cinci ani she spent all of that money i-a cheltuit pe toți was left with nothing și nu mai are nimic but the inheritance you have received la moștenirea pe care tu ai primit-o is a sure inheritance e o moștenire sigură it's a kept inheritance e o moștenire păstrată Then Peter also says și Petru de asemenea spune that we că noi, by God's power prin puterea lui Dumnezeu are being guarded suntem păziți through faith prin credință for salvation. pentru mântuire. That means Asta înseamnă that just as your inheritance is guarded moștenirea ta e păzită you also are guarded. Și tu ești păzit. As your inheritance is secure Așa cum moștenirea ta e sigură you are also secure. Tu ești în siguranță. It tells us in Psalms that the angel of the Lord camps round about those who trust in the Lord. Those who fear the Lord. Cel care se tem de Domnul. So you are surrounded by angels. But even more than that, you are surrounded by the power of God. His power is in front of you. His power is behind you. His power is to your right and to your left. You are surrounded by the power of God. By faith. You have faith that releases God's power. Care eliberează puterea lui Dumnezeu. And that is what protects you. Și asta ce te protejează pe tine. That is what keeps you. Asta ce te ține pe tine. Remember how Paul said. Să cum a zis Pavel. 
that I desire that your faith would not rest in the wisdom of man. But in the power of God. The faith that's in you releases the power of God to surround you continually to keep you safe. Your inheritance is kept but you are also kept. Your inheritance is safe but you are also safe. In 1 Peter Continuing on in verse 6. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. Cu toate că acum, dacă trebuie, sunteți întristați pentru puțin timp prin felurite încercări. So that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Pentru că încercarea credinței voastre, cu mult mai scumpă decât aurul care piere și care totuși este încercat prin foc, să fie găsită spre laudă, slavă și cinste, la descoperirea lui Isus Hristos. Though you have seen him, not seen him, you love him. Though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. Pe care voi îl iubiți fără să-l fi văzut, credeți în el fără să-l vedeți și vă bucurați cu o bucurie nespusă și plină de slavă. Obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Primind ca sfârșit al credinței voastre, mântuirea sufletelor voastre. You can rejoice because you have faith that is more valuable than gold. It has been tested by fire. Yes, you have gone through trials. Yes, you have suffered. But you are coming out on the other side and there is greater glory waiting for you on the other side. When Thomas came to Jesus' feet, Jesus said to him, You believe because you have seen. But blessed are those who have not seen. And yet they believe. And that's what Peter is saying here. Though you have not seen him. But you love him. Though you do not see him now. You believe in him. And you have that joy. You have that unlimited glory. The outcome of your faith will be your salvation. This is what I really want to push home to you today. That you have an inheritance that is secure, that is kept. You have an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for you by faith. In the power of God, you also are kept. You are safe. You are secure in Him, in Christ. You are hidden with Christ in God. You are in a safe place. You have nothing to be afraid of. You have an inheritance that will never be taken. And my God will supply all of your needs according to His riches that are in glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.